hey. Let me tell you what's going on. You do hear a chainsaw and you, I am in the forest. This is the primary forest on our farm here at Farm of Life. And um, that's us chainsawing down a branch off of a tree because we're actually going to harvest a queen bee and create a, a home for her up on the farm proper so we can harvest honey. And uh, we have we posted <laughs> we posted um, a previous YouTube video on Mariola honey, and so this I think is the same kind of bee and same kind of honey. I'm gonna find out. I'm actually like an hour late arriving to the show, so what they're gonna do is cut down the branch that has the nest in it, and we're actually gonna transplant that branch to somewhere else about a kilometer away so that the bees kind of lose, forget about where their original home was. And once they forget, then we can bring them to our farm to a home that we're going to set up for them. Well, there it is. That's the trunk that's got the bees in it. Bringing it down nice. Almost, almost. Yeah, the bees coming out the cracks now. Yep. Nice. Ahora sí, entonces ya tengo como trabajar. Si el hueco está aquí, piensan el nido es. Entonces voy a movilizar un poco esto. This is amazing stuff, Farmer Life family. No es que madera, desechos digamos orgánicos, tierra, extraction, madera, resinas, resinas y cera. From a log to a wooden box. Delicia. Good meal, buen meal. Sí. Ay. You can see the. Look at that. We're drinking some of the meal from these barracinos. Acido. Bueno, bueno. Acido. Acido. Let's try some of this. It's really good. It's kind of like maple syrup almost. Mm. Wow. What's I like different? it. Wow. Mm -hmm. Very different taste. There's more. Oh, look at the honey, honey, <laughs> meal, meal, meal. <laughs> now the pockets, each one of those pockets, oh, 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 Muchísimo miel, ¿ah? ¿eh? Mucha miel. Esto tiende a ser mucho polen después del, del panal hacia abajo. Sí. El polen está muy cerca de la cría. Sí, esta es la... Le sí. iremos traído potes, una chiringa, sí. y metemos los potes vacíos. De aquí lo que trae es esto. So the videography here is about to check out, but what's going to happen is they're going to take the box, the new box that has the nest and the queen in it, and they're going to hang it up in the tree near where the nest was originally. <laughs> And I think the idea is that all the bees that are loose and flying around will find their way back home to their queen. In there, in the mm -hmm. And then after some time, we'll then eventually take the box up to the farm. And we're also going to harvest all that honey and bee pollen that's in the log right now. So we got the Barracina bees here. Um, they're up in the kitchen now. We've extracted all the pollen and all the honey out of the log. And now we're getting ready to extract the honey and take as much pollen as we can and put it into the recipients. So that way we can use it. You could use these for yeah. raw food prep. You can consume it raw, you can consume it straight. Um, it's just, there's so many things that you can do with honey and then the pollen. This is very strong taste though. Very, very strong. It's very acid. Vinegar-like um, actually. Yeah. Tart. My assumption is that these bees, once they get moved to the spots around the fruit trees in our farm, 
where, where they'll be using a lot of the flowers, like the Lang Lang flowers, the citrus flowers, and all the many flowers we have on the farm. The taste will certainly change. As we all know, the honey honey changes as different flowers come into bloom. And so this will this will change in taste. That's, that's why in sure. the States they have Tupelo honey, sourwood honey. It's all named after the kind of flowers, right? Exactly. That, that well, it's very difficult to tell with these because they've been in the forest. And, and what the guys were telling me down there, there's people here from the university, and they were telling me that these bees can travel two kilometers in circumference of their nest. And so who knows what kind of flowers that they're extracting in the forest. Hi, bees. Hello, bees. Keep them to Hi, bees. So now I'm poking holes. Yeah, yeah you're just kind of poking holes to kind of extract as much honey as you can. And why am I not squeezing? The, for some reason, the guy said not to squeeze. My Spanish was limited wow. with that. Wow, look at that. Hi, bees. It's like squeezing oh. the big Sorry. <laughs> Squirting honey. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is called milking the honey nest. I just made that up. <laughs> Sounds good. Makes sense. What could you do with the leftover hive? It's wax. It's wax. This is yeah. just wax. So you could again use it for raw. I mean, Susan, you got your retreat starting up. You could use it for raw food prep. All kinds of different stuff. You could use it for, for beeswax, right? You know, you can make like candles Lip and stuff. Balm. <laughs> Lip balm. Wow. Nick could put it, rub it all over his body for we got a uh, sunburns. <laughs> I think that's what he's gonna do later. We're gonna video that. <laughs> I think all the bees are pretty much out so of there. So a drop of honey fell on my arm and the bee just took it all back in wow. and drank it up. That's amazing. You know this uh, Farmer Life family, one little tidbit of information is that honey contains tons of hydrogen peroxide. And hydrogen peroxide is really great for oxygen uptake in the blood. And the more oxygen in the body, the less disease can exist. Of course, as we know, hydrogen peroxide writes an antibacterial, antiviral. So this one is all pollen. Wow. This is pollen. And so now pollen, I would think with pollen we're going to use... Oh. oh my, maybe not all pollen. It just splattered all over that. Yeah. Ooh. So these guys don't sting, right? They don't sting at all. These are non-stingers. They definitely tickle, though. <laughs> Like this one is very tickly. Mm -hmm. Get off me, tickle man. I'm covered in bees. Any kind of bowl, really. It could be like you a. You want to just add it to there for the time? Yeah. Yeah, totally. I mean, this is as natural as it gets, Farmer Life family. Completely raw honey pollen. This is like the nest. Look not, at this. This not. Is enormous. What size bowl? Yeah, okay. and then what here. Size? Perfect. If you look down here, everybody, this is just tons is of pollen write? and honey. Typically, they've said I've read a lot, a little, a lot about honey bees, and that the darker the honey, the more mineral rich it is. You can see that's pretty darn dark. Mm -hmm. Getting ready to do another heavy dump. Look at that, wow. everybody. Whoa. That's a big honey dump. <laughs> <laughs> we are getting lots of honey off this. Wow. I wonder how long it took them to make all that honey. Probably quite some time, I would think. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, I don't know how long the bees have been in that log, but Yours. look at that. I mean, that is wow. just incredible. If you take a look at the sacred geometric shapes that the bees make, they make these egg-shaped structures. Look at that. It's just wow. squirting out honey. <laughs> Shit. Okay. So you got pollen and honey all mixed in. Let's bring that pollen guy closer. Boy, pollen bucket. Mm. I can smell the honey. God. Yeah, it's very strong honey. Mm. It's, it's very maple syrupy. Yeah. Yeah. A little tart. It's a little tart. I would have to say it's not it's not sweet, it's not the tastiest honey, mm -hmm. but 
I mean, so it's so so good for you. Yeah. yeah Nick's gonna rub his whole body in it this <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> We're actually gonna have honey wrestling later this afternoon, and we may video that, Farmer Life family. Mm. I love it. You like the taste? Mm. It's really, it's really tart. Okay. Yeah. Probably don't make a knife cake. <laughs> I can start taking the pollen out. And... Mm. <laughs> you know, our hands sweet. are vibrating like there's. Mm. Wow. The nutrients of bee pollen. I mean, Susan, tell us. I mean, the bee pollen is just right. B12. Every every yeah. kind of amino acid. It's complete protein. There, yeah. A lot of vegans who aren't who are oh you know God, who are okay pollen, with pollen, consuming. Pollen. A lot of vegans who are okay with consuming bee like products. Um, this is be this would be their great strong. source of B12. Be bee pollen has tons of B12 in it. <laughs> Susan's face. <laughs> wow. Wow. A little bit. It's so strong. Uh, <laughs> my finger. It's like every type of citrus at once. We actually have a box. We have a wooden box that's up by the tree in the tree, and it needs to stay there for seven days. And because the the workers need to be able to find their new home, they need to understand. And the queen is in the wooden box now, and so for seven days they're they're going to get used to their new home. Then they're going to be taken three kilometers away from the farm, where they. They get kind of amnesia. They, they forget where their home was in that tree. And then we can bring them back and then just, and then put them wherever we want on the farm. But that's gonna take a month because the bees are so, they're so good with location that if we were to move them now, they would just go right back to that log. Yeah. And they would get very confused because the bee, the queen's gone and so they would die. And the log's on the ground. And the log's on the ground now. And so that's that's what the um, the guys at the university has have instructed for us. It's actually pretty cool with the rope. We have it up on the tree, the, the the wooden box. And for one week we leave it there, and then we move it three kilometers away from here. So the the bees and the queen and everyone they get a bit of they kind of forget where they used to live. And then you can bring them back and you can put them wherever you want, and then they can get used to a new home. So, but we, as you can see, we're doing everything we can not to harm these bees. We're being as loving as possible. We've lost a few, but we're saying a prayer to the, we've gone into the B dimension and we've said we're sorry, and so it's all good. You can look over. So let's look and see how much honey, wow. Jeez. Look at that, I didn't even realize we got that much honey. <laughs> Holy honey, Batman. <laughs> look at that. You guys need to fly away. Wow. Look at how dark and rich that is. Mm. Please, please indulge yourselves. Well, it's just got a little bit of the pollen taste in it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's like Whoa. maple syrup. There's a wow. touch of the pollen in there. It's beautiful. Mm. Oh, it's nice That's the good stuff. Like citrusy, mm -hmm. something taste. Wild like harvested. That's so good. I've never tasted honey like this. Completely yeah. wild. It's a very maple so syrupy with that pollen mm -hmm. taste. Yum. Mm. Wow. wow. Rest assured, I'll be dropping some of this in my eyes, because they said it's very, very medicinal for the eyes. And wounds. And wounds, cuts, abrasions, anything on the skin. It's, it's actually honey, believe it or not, is better than coconut oil and aloe for burns, for skin burns. Mm. It's just, most people don't ever want to put it on because it's so sticky and gooey, you know? But Nick's going to, and it's going to be amazing for his skin. <laughs> and then we're going to wrestle around in the... That's right. We're gonna, Nick and I are gonna have a honey wrestling. Three rounds. We'll see who the strongest bald man really is. <laughs> Take a look at this Farmer Life family. This is another type. This is another type of, of melopona. And these are called mariolas. If we take a look at here, Let's take a look at here. Again, the, the beautiful spiral staircase that they made. Hello. 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 H
Ve aquí. Look Ve aquí. at that. Ve aquí. La reina, mira. Look Déjeme at para that. yo manipularla. Tenga que tocarlo para yo manipularla. La reina. La reina. Sí. ¿Dónde está? La reina aquí está. They said the queen is in here somewhere. Aquí está la reina. Ese culón. Ese culón. Uh, wow. Solo una hay. Sí. Solo una hay. That, that is just incredible. Hay otra, pero joven, más joven. Ya está chinchas joven. There's the queen right there, everyone. No está muy hecha leña. That's the queen. Está muy bonita. Eso cría naciendo ya. That's the queen right there, really big. Three, four times the size, five times the size of the other workers. I hope you could see that. Absolutely beautiful. Vea, eso es un zángano. Eso que va ahí. Sí. Esto, vea, lo aquí. Sí. No tiene curvatura y es un poquitico, vea, vea, vea. Está nuevo, nuevo. Sí, es un corvícula. Un zángano, es el macho. Solo These are supposed to be extremely Solo. medicinal for the eyes. Cuando... Una reina ocupa que fecundarse, entonces Estamos. vuelan. Sí, sí, sí. Entonces, These are called mariolas. Ahora sí, Harold, Harold, Harold. Dígame. Where the other ones are called berecinas. Aquí, así. Exacto. Aquí. And notice they're putting them in the wooden boxes again. Ahora, pongamos esta en otro lado. Sáquenlo mucho cuidado porque esa es la reina. Ella, es la, la cría joven. Para poner la reina sobre ella. Está suelta, yo creo. Nada más, por aquí sí, sí, y se levanta. Sí, exactamente. Pero quiero agarrar todo el... Really incredible. Increíble. Increíble. Qué bueno, fotografías a la reina. Sí. Vea cómo hay sanganillos. Qué bien, qué bueno. And you can see in the air, well, maybe you can see all the, the, the mariolas. And they don't bother you whatsoever. They're completely friendly and nice. It's truly amazing. Le tomo buenas fotos. Creo que sí. Un buen paparazzi, le tomo fotos a la reina. Qué montón. ¿Dónde puso aquello, Jalo? ¿Qué? Está aquí, está aquí. Nada más póngase la encima. Aquí está velo. No, pero era vuelta. Era así. Increíble. Así, 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 así. Ah, es que le puso el rey. Le puse la punta, sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí, es así. Y... Aquí está la mamá. Ahí está. Espérate, es que tengo que abrirle aquí. Really para incredible. Para acomodarle esto. Qué montón tiene esto. Esta sí es de más cuidado, güey. Entonces, ve las que hay arriba. Ahora sí, ve. Esta no hay problema porque esta va a emerger sin sí. problema. Ahora esta, aquí donde va a ir la reina. La reina siempre hay que manipularla por el tórax, nunca hay que tocar el... Yo casi mejor la agarro así, con cuidado, con sí. la palillo. Sí, sí, no, no. Póngalo con todo y... That's truly amazing right there. You see the hexagon shapeness. Fácil, ya tengo años de manejar la reina. The spiral staircase that they make. I mean, these, these bees, they don't, they don't read books about sacred geometry. They just do it. Because they're so connected. It is really... It's truly amazing. The knowledge that they have. Más que la otra todavía. Sí. Todo lo que se le ponga lo puede. Eso, sí. Jalo, tome. Déjeme, déjeme. Para tapar, saquémoslo. Got to keep our friends the bees around on this sí. planet, I can para, tell you para that. Sacarlo para tapar un poquito allá. El nido. Truly incredible. This is my favorite right here. Because the bees have made a spiral staircase. Bueno, ya, ya tiene dos, dos mariolas y una... Un right, par si no, ya le quedan algunas cuantas especies más cosas. Es como Metatron's Cube. Y de nuevo, no han leído un libro sobre esta cosa. Ellos solo lo hacen. Y falta la miel. Porque están conectados. Pero eso hay que poner miel, Fernando, un poquito. Sí. No, ya, ya, ya. Ahora, right, Carmelite Family, voy a sign off. Mucho love to you. Y, y ponen. La, la que le pusimos aquí. Hello, Pharma Life family. Hi again. Hi again, hi again. Yes. We're back with the bees, and I know Emma and Emma's father and all the people out here who love bees are going to love this, because I know we're, we're sort of continuing um, this video. It's been and, three weeks yeah, since and, um, that right, previous clip. It's been, yeah, it's been over a month, right? Okay. Um, I think it's been over a month, and, and here's the process with these bees, is you saw in it, before we took them from the forest um, at night, we took them from the forest and we moved them two kilometers away from this farm so that the bees would get amnesia. They would forget the tree they lived in. And then, and actually it was, on our, it was on our farm manager's farm where they were being housed. When, and at night they're sound asleep. And at night they're absolutely sound asleep. So all the, the bees, bees are in the box sound asleep. The bees are sun beings, truly sun beings. They are up with the sun, they do their work, and they go in right at sunset. I've watched them do this. They go in right at sunset. They sh like almost close the door here, their little opening. 
not really, but they, they, they just, their last person, you know, the last flyer collecting pollen from the flowers um, goes in and they are sound out at night. You can move these bees at night easily, easily, because they completely, completely asleep. And again, we, they were two kilometers away to sort of forget where they lived in the trees. And then now we've created these, I mean, these are like $500,000 condominiums, people <laughs> on the beach that we built for them. Look at this. They have a nice polycarbonate roof. So if it rains, little space it comes off a nice wooden box for them. And what I'm going to do is constantly check it because as they build this box, um, I've got another little quadrant here. If you can see, it's all sectioned off. And I have another quadrant that I'm going to build. And then every few weeks I check it. And every few weeks I check it and I take half, like the pollen and the honey and the bees and the queen, they get their half. So it's a nice sharing. It really is. It's a beautiful sharing. This is a whole different type of melipona. We talked about the 40 different types of meliponas, the non-stinging bees that are in this country of Costa Rica. Um, you saw earlier the mariolas, which are really, really medicinal for the eyes. Super medicinal. They don't, they're, they're such a small bee. These guys, if you look, maybe come a little closer. Again, super friendly. They're pretty good-sized bees. And these are called the Barracinos. They're called Barracinos. Okay. And, so, and so now on the farm, we have two different types of meliponas. Um, and, of course, we've got 38 to go. You know, I'd like to get, I'd like to get, it's, they're hard to find these guys. I'd like to get as many of them as we can on the farm. But I also realize that, you know, it, it, some of them are very rare and very difficult to find. Um, so as many we as we can get. We just got lucky because our, our employees know that we love bees and they right. found two nests in our forest. Right. They were just doing their work and walking around and found two nests that we were able to harvest. Right. And we have another Mariola. So we have two Mariola boxes, which... Um, people from the university that came told me that that is the most medicinal melipona in, in this country. It's extremely, it's pure medicine, they called it. Um, but it produces very little because they're such a little guy. Mm. These guys, I would assume, obviously all honey is very medicinal. These guys produce, again, a very medicinal honey. The taste is very different. It's kind of a maple syrupy with a bit of a vinegar splash. That. Um, I don't know now. It's interesting to see what the flavor will be because they're going to be working off different flowers, right? So let's stay tuned on that and see what the flavor of these Veracino bees are. Um, so that, that's it. I mean, we're really, really excited to have them. Um, not only for, for, their, for, their, for their food, you know, for us, um, because honey is a, is a great medicine for me, um, but let's say you're a vegan and you don't want to consume honey products. The bees are great as a permaculture concept because basically there's like, I don't know, maybe 200, 300,000 bees literally in this box, as well as the, the two boxes of Mariolas. So now we have an army of bees on this farm pollinating the fruit trees. And what's that, what is that going to do? It's going to increase yield of the fruit trees. And it's just going to make all the plants fruits and vegetables on the farm happier and healthier. And that's exactly what we want the farmer life to be. So till next time, farmer life family, I love you very much. Bye-bye.